On Gifted Hands family, it is Elijah here bringing you another lesson, and today we're going to be breaking down For Every Mountain by Kurt Carr, and we're in the key of D minor. All right, D minor or F major, um, that's the relative minor and major. You can think about it either way. Um, I like to think of this song in D minor um, just because that seems like the tonal center. Uh, but when we're talking about the number system, I'll just explain it in terms of F major, okay? But F major, D minor, same key. D minor is the relative minor. F major is the relative major, okay? So our scale for F major, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So our scale for F major, and it's the same scale for D minor, just starts on a different note. One black note, which is B flat, cool. So that's our scale, and um, let's talk about the song form. So the song form for this song is going to be, it starts off with the verse, um, and it, there's no real intro, singer just pretty much comes right in singing, okay? So verse one, then we go into a double chorus, then we're going into like an instrumental break. From the instrumental break, we go into a vamp. Um, and then the vamp takes us, they pretty much just repeat the vamp until the end of the song. But they're doing the vamp two times in D minor. Then they do the vamp one more time. They modulate up to E flat minor. And then they modulate up again to E minor doing the vamp. All right. So that is our song form. And pretty much the four sections that we have to learn are going to be the verse, the chorus, the interlude, and the vamp. Okay. Those are the only four sections. And then we're playing that in different keys and different things. Okay. So. Let's start off breaking down the verse. Um, the verse goes like this. Since we didn't see it in the playthrough, in the playthrough I only did the vamp part. Um, but the verse goes like this. I've got so much to thank God for. So many open doors. So that's the verse. So we're starting off um, on the two chord. And so the two chord is going to be G minor. Thank God for the verse. Actually, it really starts off with the singer singing a cappella. I have got so much to thank God for. And then when we got to, when they get to thank God for, then we're hitting the two chord. OK, so G minor is our two chord. And you can play just a, the basic chord like this, but in the song, they arpeggiate that two chord. So I like to do something like this. I'm not gonna give you it note for note, but pretty much they start on the ninth of G. So they start on an A. And we arpeggiate it up. So you can do that. Arpeggiate that whole thing up. There, with your left hand, right hand, and then after you get that F, 
you're gonna land on this chord, which is gonna be, um, it's like a five sus, because then we're going to the five, which is a C dominant chord, okay? But we're gonna play this, and this is like a rootless version of C dominant, of our five chord, suspended. Okay, so we're hitting this, or if you want, you can play with the root in. So here, then we're going to add the root the second time around, hit it again with the root in. And then from here, we resolve it to a dominant, to C7 with a flat nine, that D flat is the flat nine, okay? So all that is, is I've got so much to thank God for two, five, suspended, suspended again, to five dominant, okay? That's what we got for the intro. Or sorry, with, for the verse. That was the two to the five, sus. Five sus with the root. Five dominant with the root. And then we're going to the three. And so many open doors. Or sorry, we're going to the seven, my bad. Not the three, the seven. And the seven, we're gonna play D major in the right over E and D in the left. All right. So our seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is the E chord. And now seven usually supposed to be half diminished, but they're gonna play it a little different. So this is what we got for the seven. And in the song, they are arpeggiated up, so they do here. And then they add that, the ninth and the third. So you can do that. E and D, and then hit F sharp and G. And pretty much we're just in arpeggiated all the way. You can do something like that. And then so we're gonna go from seven, or you can just hit the seven, then we're resolving to the three. And when we get to the three chord, it's gonna be an A suspended chord as well, A sus. So A and G in the left, right hand's gonna play B, D, F sharp, and A. All right? gives us the three chord as a suspended chord, a three sus. So our right hand's pretty much playing a B minor seven chord over A and G in the left. Okay, so from the top, actually, keep going. So suspended, and then we're gonna resolve it to a dominant, right? So we're gonna resolve it to a dominant, but when we resolve it, we're gonna move the bass down to the G. And that just pretty much is put in that seventh of our chord, the G in the bass. So we're kind of inverting the chord. All right. <clears throat> so sus, resolving it to A dominant with the G in the bass. And then we're going to a D major chord, but we're gonna put the F sharp in the bass, okay? Or G flat in the bass. And that's our chord, D major with a G flat in the bass. G flat, F sharp in the bass. So A sus, A dominant with a G in the bass, D major with F sharp in the bass. That's that movement. All right, so from the top, I've got so much to thank God for. Two, five sus, five sus again, five dominant, and then seven. to the three, three suspended, three dominant, inverted to, this is like our six chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the six chord has a major with the F sharp in the bass. All right. And then, then we're going to the three chord and this three chord is gonna be half diminished. So A minor seven flat five. So here's our three chord and they just, Roll it, arpeggiate it a little bit. So three to the six. So three, the six chord, D dominant. And that's gonna resolve to our two. Okay. So three, hold it and you roll it. Six to the two. And if you realize that's a 
two five one, technically a minor two five one. All right, but three six two in the key of F major. Three six two, and you could do this movement. You could stay on the two if you want, but in the song they do something like three six two. You could do something like that. So that would be three six, and instead of going to this like this voicing with the root in we could go to a rootless version of G minor all right so we could hit G minor as a rootless version which would be this right here and that would just be the seventh flat seventh ninth third fifth of G minor and our right hand 